English as you call them. I'm a designer maker and a creative director at Stitchville Limited. I will show you a range of knitting techniques. In this video tutorial I will show you how to make a beanie hat. To make a beanie hat you will need a short circular needle, 10 markers, a tapestry needle which we will need to finish the hat off and a yarn of your choice. The reason we are using the circular needle here is because we are going to make a seamless hat. I am going to work this hat on 100 stitches. This marker denotes the beginning of our round. I'm going to knit first two stitches. And then I'm going to bring my yarn to the front of work and I'm going to purl two stitches. I have now completed the first round so I came back to the beginning of round marker. I'm going to slip it from the left hand needle to right hand needle. What happens in the process of making a seamless hat is that you would work this round where our sequence of four stitches is repeated from the beginning to end of round. So that's knit two, purl two, even, which means without any shaping. So no decreases, no increases. You just work this round repeatedly until you reach the desired depth. I normally recommend um, for this to be about 14 to 15 centimeters. At this point, your work would be around here. And now we would be ready to insert markers which would help you to um, shape the top of the hat. So this is our first marker. I'm working on 100 stitches. So I'm going to place marker every 10 stitches. Now we are ready to shape the top of the hat. To do so, we are going to work in pattern, which means knit two and purl two, until we reach two last stitches before the marker. When these stitches are knit stitches, we're going to use the knit two together decrease technique, which works like this. We're going to go into both stitches at the same time as if to knit and we're then going to knit out of them as usual. Now we have one stitch instead of two, hence one stitch has been decreased. We slip marker and then we again work in pattern until we reach last two stitches before next marker. So in one decrease round you will decrease ten stitches. Then you would work one round without any shapings, which means you just knit the stitches as they come off the needle. So if they are knit stitches, you knit them. If they are purl stitches, you purl them. So you would repeat those two rows until you have decreased half of the stitches that you have originally cast on. So until you have 50 stitches. At which point you would start decreasing in every row until you get just to 10 stitches. When you get to 10 stitches, using your tapestry needle, you would thread the yarn, the working yarn, after cutting it, and you would then draw the working yarn through all the remaining stitches and secure it. If you follow the um, pattern that I have just described, you will produce a hat not that different from this one here. And that's how to knit a beanie.